My name is James Pepper Henry, and I'm the new executive director of the Gilcrease Museum. I've been on the job just about 100 days now, and I'm very excited to be back in Oklahoma after about 20 years. I'm a member of the Kaw Nation of Oklahoma near Ponca City, and um, I came back because there's so many exciting things happening in Tulsa right now. There's a cultural renaissance going on. Uh, even five or six years ago, there was no Brady District. And uh, so, so many exciting things happening. And I want to talk a little bit, bit about the Gilcrease Museum. Next slide, please. And to continue the legacy uh, of the gift of Thomas Gilcrease that he gave to this great city. Now, how many of you know what the most valuable asset the city owns here in Tulsa, Oklahoma? It's the collection of the Gilcrease Museum. The Gilcrease Museum collection is valued at over $2 billion. That's two followed by nine zeros. And it's time that we put that asset to use for the people of Tulsa. We are home to one of the finest collections of American art and history in the country. In fact, we have one of the only original, in fact, the only other original signed copy of the Declaration of Independence. We have very rare archives and art that chronicle the history of our country. We have some of the finest artwork of American artists in the world, including this picture by Thomas Moran, the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. And you can see this in just about every art textbook in the country. We have one of the finest collections of Western art in the world. We have more Frederick Remingtons and C.M. Russell sculptures, paintings, and drawings than any other museum in the world combined, over 10,000. And of course, we have one of the finest collections of American Indian art and ethnographic items in the world. Now, many of you may recognize this sculpture because it's on almost every license plate in the state of Oklahoma. This is Sacred Rain Arrow by Alan Hauser, uh, one of Oklahoma's great American Indian artists. And there can't be any better advertising than that for the Gilcrease Museum, having this on all the license plates in the state. We have a great relationship with the University of Tulsa, who has invested nearly $60 million of private money into the Gilcrease Museum already, including the $28 million Helmrich Center for American Research that opened just about a year ago. And this has been a great public-private partnership uh, established in 2008, and really the University of Tulsa has helped carry the Gilcrease Museum these last several years. Now, even though the Gilcrease has a great reputation nationally and internationally, it is grossly underutilized as a resource, both economically and as a center for civic engagement. We have a world-class collection, but we do not have a world-class facility to house and showcase this great collection. Just down the road from us, in Bentonville, Arkansas, is Crystal Bridges, the $300 million museum built by the Walton family. Now, Crystal Bridges gets over 600,000 visitors a year. Now, how do you get 600,000 people to go to Bentonville, Arkansas? Well, you have a world-class facility, and they've developed their grounds, uh, many acres around Crystal Bridges. Now, people aren't going there just because of the artwork, because our collection, in my opinion, is much, much richer than the Crystal Bridges collection, but they have the amenities that people are looking for. Now, uh, there is a misperception that the Gilcrease is way out in the boondocks, we're out in the country, but in reality, we are only four minutes from downtown Tulsa. Here you can even see from the Gilcrease Museum, you can see downtown, and we wanna change that perception. So here, uh, it's hard to see on the screen, hopefully you can see it better on your screens, but this is uh, kind of shows the relationship of all the, uh, of the major cultural institutions in Tulsa to downtown. The Gilcrease is about three miles from downtown, but you can see all of the major cultural institutions are within a seven mile radius. And somebody told me the other day that they consider this radius the Tulsonian, kind of paying homage to the Smithsonian because of all the great cultural institutions that we have within a seven mile radius of downtown. Now, uh, you can actually see the Gilcrease from downtown and um, here I put a little arrow where, where that's at, but we wanna make that much more prominent so that psychologically people can make that connection to the Gilcrease. And here, uh, here's an aerial view, and I'm gonna show you what we're, we're talking about in terms of upgrading the Gilcrease Museum. Here you can see uh, there's a dotted line there where we're talking about 
a 100,000 square foot expansion of the Gilcrease Museum and also development of the grounds. Next slide and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. We're talking about a new grand entry to the Gilcrease Museum where we can have events for up to 500 people. We're also looking at a newly enhanced gift shop, cafe, a 12,000 square foot changing exhibition space to bring some of the best traveling exhibitions in the world and exhibits like King Tut, Imperial Tombs of China. There isn't any other museum or institution in town that can uh, that has the facility and the ability to bring some of these great traveling exhibitions to Tulsa, Oklahoma. In fact, I don't even think Oklahoma has a space like that. Also, we want to add another 8,000 square foot space to showcase more of the 350,000 objects that we have in the Gilcrease collection. Again, I talked about having a new cafe, which would also include a, a, a coffee shop below, but this would be on the second level with great views of downtown Tulsa and also the beautiful Osage Hills behind the museum. And we're also talking about adding a new children's discovery center as part of the expanded Gilcrease Museum. Um, next slide, I'm gonna cruise through this real quickly. Here's a concept of what the museum might look like. This isn't the final design, but we're trying to integrate the architecture with the beautiful rolling Osage Hills. Uh, we want to improve the approach to the Gilcrease Museum, enhance Gilcrease Museum Road, adding a bike path that will connect the, the museum to the rest of Tulsa, uh, beautify that with trees, uh, widening the road, making the, the experience to the museum part of the museum experience, the approach to the museum, that is. And here, this shows, it's a little crooked here, but you can see the existing bike trails and then connecting the Gilcrease to the, to the bike path. And we call this either Gilcrease to Guthrie Green or Gilcrease to the Gathering Place. And here, we want to develop the grounds of the Gilcrease Museum, the 415 acres that are there with a new amphitheater uh, and performing arts uh, area, new facilities, uh, hiking trails to go throughout the 415 acres. Next slide. Uh, here's an example of an outdoor amphitheater that we propose for the new Gilcrease. Here are hiking trails and, and biking trails. And uh, go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the, to the summary here. So we're looking at expanding with this 100,000 square foot uh, expansion. All of these items on this list, a grand entry, children's discovery space, and so on. We're also looking at improving the landscaping, uh, street lights, bike trail on the approach to the Gilcrease Museum. Uh, again, an outdoor amphitheater, play areas, increased parking, adding another 300 parking spaces to increase our capacity, upgrading our ponds and gardens. And we are asking for uh, $75 million in this vision package. It sounds like a lot of money, but that's less than 3% of the value of the Gilcrease Museum. Uh, I've been involved in these projects in the past, and I can talk a little bit about that in the Q&A section, but I know what, it, how, an expansion of the Gilchrist Museum will transform this community. University of Tulsa has also pledged a $50 million private match to help support um, the operations of, of an expanded Gilchrist Museum. And, and again, they've already contributed $60 million to the state. So we talk about moving the needle. We're looking at adding another 500,000 visitors to Tulsa. If they can get 600,000 visitors to Bentonville, Arkansas, we can get another half a million people here to Tulsa from all over the world. Uh, international tourism, getting people from Europe, uh, even in Asia, we're looking at China right now. Increase the tax revenue. I, I heard uh, uh, Councilman Ewing say the other day that the needle, needle really hasn't moved in the tax revenue because we've got all these great things happening in Tulsa, but it's internal. It's just shifting dollars from one place to another. Well, what we're trying to do is get people from outside of Tulsa, increase that tax revenue, get half a million people from all over the world to come to Tulsa to see the, the grand collection of the Gilcrease Museum and all the other great things that Tulsa has to offer. North Tulsa has been neglected in its development over the years. This will certainly give a great economic boost to North Tulsa. And we've seen when you invest in a cultural institution like the Gilcrease Museum, you see other, other businesses and other, uh, other opportunities pop up around that area. Uh, connecting the Gilcrease to the bike trails, uh, increasing health and wellness activities, having uh, hiking trails and biking trails on the 415 acres, creating a place or, or a center for, an, for civic engagement, having community activities, having the Gilcrease be the community's living room. Expanded educational opportunities. We already have 40,000 school kids a year coming to the Gilcrease Museum. We want to increase that 
uh, and provide more exper experiential exhibits for our younger people. And of course, we want to connect Gilcrease to downtown and to the rest of the region. And then this is something we already own. We already own the collections of the Gilcrease Museum. It's completely underutilized. And the worst thing that we can do is nothing. The worst thing that the city can do is nothing. We need to do something with the Gilcrease Museum so it starts to work for the people of Tulsa and increase that tax revenue. Thank you.